uh, go to Isaiah 29 and 13. Watch this. So, sis, auntie, watch this. Read it. Isaiah 29 and uh, 13. Read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Read. For the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me uh -huh. with their mouth Read. and with their lips Read. do unto me. So the most I God say with our lips and with our mouth we do worship him. Watch this though, Read. But have removed their heart far from me. Why is our heart so far away from the most high God? What you say, big bro? Why you think our heart so far away from the most high God? Pushed we pushed him away. Now, when we pushed him away, what happened? Go to Leviticus 26 and 17. When we pushed the most high God away, guess what he did in return? He pushed us away. You understand what I'm saying? Watch this. Isaiah 26 and 17. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 17. And I will set my face against you. So the most high God said he set his face against us. You just heard about the young sister they just found dead. Yeah, they, just, they, they just found Kayla dead. They just found little Marvin dead in a bush, right? So the most high God say he going to turn his face away from us. Read. And I will set my face against you. Read. And ye shall be slain. We shall be what? Shall be slain. See, we wonder why so much killing in our community. But the most high God said because we turned our back against him, he turned his face against us. And that's why we die at an alarming rate today. But guess what? We don't consider that. We don't take time out to figure out. Like the sister said, the sister said, we've been taught two different ways. It's impossible for me and you to be taught two different ways and right. go stand before the same God and get in the same kingdom. Right. That don't make no sense. So the most high God say, read it again. Ye shall be slain before your enemies. Read. They that hate you shall reign over you. Like the officers bring it out, who run our communities? You understand what I'm saying? This is an Arab stoke in the heart of our community. You understand what I'm saying? He let us come up here, post up all day, and do what we want to do. Sell drawers to one another, kill one another, long as what? Long as the traffic study coming to his store. So the most high God say, exactly. The most high God say, those that hate us shall what? Shall reign over you. Meaning they rule over us. Now, since you've been standing here, what is the reason why we in this condition? What's your name? I ain't get your name. Smiley. Mr. Smiley, why we in this condition, Mr. Smiley? Okay, we put ourselves in this condition. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Put you understand what I'm saying? So now, but check this out though. Yes, to a degree, we did put ourselves yes, in this situation, right? Yes, but on a grand scheme of things, it was a power behind it. Watch this power, read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What do we find the voice of the Lord thy God at, Mr. Smiley? Only in the church. Okay. So now, in the church, we got this image, right? We got this in the church, right? Think about it. If we got this in the church, you said we can only hear the word of God in the church. We read the Bible. Let's get what the image of Jesus look like. Because I want to, the reason why is because you said we can only hear the word of God in the church. But inside every church, we have this image. Let's read the Bible. Read. Yep. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it's describing to us what Jesus Christ looked like. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Read. As white as snow. And it say as white as snow, meaning fully white. Read. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Say, big bro, what's your name? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Scott. Yeah. Hey, check this out, Scott. Who this is right here? Right, but in our church, can I not this, can I not find this on every church on every corner? Right, so I'm talking to him. He said the only way we can hear the word of God is we gotta go into church. I'm trying to drive some home because we see this in every church. Now we're reading the description of Jesus. It says like Jesus had white woolly hair. Watch this though, read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Come on. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Now it's talking about his feet, Mr. Smiley. Read. Like unto fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. So check this out. If his feet was brown, like it burned in the furnace, he was your color, big bro. That's he was the direct image of you. He looked just like you. He was dark just like you. Now, this is my point. Go to 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. My point, because you said we can only go into the church and get that word. This in there, right? You're right. I like that. But check this out. The mass of our people. You, you right, Mr. Smiley? Check this out, though, Mr. Smiley. Mr. Smiley, I'm with you when you're right. You're absolutely right. Hey, Mr. Scott, 
So check this you out. Better go to church. You walk out that church. You better bring that church. With you. Listen to the church, church though. Bring, bring that church. We finna read the no, church. Yes, this the church today. Read. Bring it with Second you. Corinthians 11 verse 4. Read. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus. Another what? Another Jesus. Mr. Smile, I want you to ride with me. Who is this? Uh -oh. I don't know who that man is. Read it again. I don't know who that man is. Another Jesus. Scott, who this is? I can't take it. I ain't never seen Hold on, read the Bible. Damn, another man. Jesus. The Bible says somebody come teaching another Jesus. We read Jesus look just like my brother Scott and just like my brother Smiley. So the Bible says somebody come teaching another Jesus. Read. Whom we have not preached. John the Revelator was a prophet. He didn't preach that Jesus was white. He right. preached Jesus looked just like my brother Scott. So he said, if they come teaching another Jesus, which we have not preached, read. Or if ye receive another spirit. So it say this image comes with another spirit. Right. Watch this though, read. Which ye have not received. Or another gospel. Another what? Another gospel. That's why we think we're going to church. The Bible just said inside of every church on every corner, it's another gospel. Right. Why? Because when we go to church, they push John 3.16, yeah. God love the whole world. Big Brother Scott, I don't want right you to now. leave just yet. Because let me ask you this. How you going to get the kingdom of God, Brother Scott? How you going to get the kingdom of God? Because I'm going to tell you something. I ain't going to lie to neither one of y'all. I don't care how many times any one of my brothers tell me Jesus Christ is a black man. I guarantee you this doctrine is seared on our minds. That's why, guess what? You believe this, Mr. Smiley? God is good and all the time God is what? You understand what I'm saying? Where we got that from? Uh -uh, but where did we get it from? That goes back to what we just read. That's another gospel. God ain't good all the time. Guess what? If he put us on yoke survive and slave blocks, you think he good all the time? We ain't told this. We thank God coming back to give us hugs. God coming back to kill and destroy those that's breaking his laws, his statutes, and his commandments. You understand what I'm saying? So when we get God good all the time, get that in uh, Isaiah 45 and 7. Where we get that from, Mr. Smiley? Read. Isaiah 45, verse 17. Verse 7. Verse, because we think he good all the time. Yeah. But watch what he say. Read. Verse 7. I formed the light. So God say he formed the light that we see in the heavens. Read. And create dark. He created the darkness. Read. I make peace. He said he make peace. When we have peace, that's because the most high God said, I make peace. Read. And create evil. And he create the evils that's going on in our community. I hate to say it, but the truth of the matter is, what happened to our sister? The Lord said he orchestrated that. He orchestrated that. He orchestrated that, but the question is why? Go to 1 John 3 and 22. This is the question we don't ask ourselves, though. This is what the officer was trying to ask the two sisters. We never stop and say, is what I'm doing pleasing unto the Lord? Is what I'm doing pleasing to the Lord? We don't never ask those questions. We continue on the day-to-day, -day, every day, sun up, sun down, doing the same thing. 1 John 3:22. read it. 1 John 3, verse 22. Read. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Why? Because we keep his commandments. And do what? And do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Let me ask you this. You think what you're doing is pleasing in the sight of God right now? No. You don't think so? No. So guess what? What you think you're supposed to be doing, Mr. Smiley? You're supposed to be trying to figure out. Guess what, though? You can. But you think you can do it by yourself? Talk to me. I can't hear you. Speak up. You say you're not right about the world. You're absolutely right. I'm with you when you're right. But this is the thing. Get at it. Uh, you are not of the world. 215. Hate the world. And John. Because this is the thing. You just said in this world, right? It's like you're living in the environment. Sooner or later, it will attach itself to you. Watch this. You're absolutely right. Read that. First John 2, verse 15. Watch this. Love not the world. So the first thing we got to do is we got to love not the world. We can't love what's going on around us. I'm going to be real. I grew up in back of court. It's brothers that still doing the same thing since I was four and five. Doing on. the same thing right now as we speak. I grew up in back of court. Some of the same men doing the same thing since I was four and five years old. The most I got say, it come a point in time where we got to disconnect and we can't love this world. Read. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. All we doing is chasing a bag set up and down. But that's what they are teaching But you. But check this out. I understand that. But guess what you're being instructed now, though? Mr. Smiley. Raise the flag. You, you right. 
But listen to this though. You're being instructed by the most high God to do what? Not to do that. But listen though, Mr. 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 Smiley. The vice of the story and then they tell you another part of the story. But it's just like telling me, where was this man born? Nazareth or where was he born? At the head Get it in Luke. You want to know where Jesus, where Jesus was born? I hear the true story, but I'm like, okay, it's too confusing because they said the wise man went to the birth of Christ, but oh, yeah, Luke, the two. story says it took them 40 hours to get to that birth. It don't, it don't say it take 40 hours. That's what it said. It Go to, uh, I'm going to show you what's important. Nah, we don't need all that. Go to uh, Matthew uh, 19 and 16. Please ask these 12 and uh, 13. So, Mr. Smiley, what you saying? You absolutely right. It's a lot of brainwashing. Lot of brainwashing. You, you absolutely right. But we're gonna make it very it's plain, but objective. Well, catch Can you catch this though, Mr. Smiley? You, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Smiley. I want you to be able to listen to me. Why would I move my pregnant Read this. wife? Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, verse thirteen, Mr. Smiley. I'm just looking at my wife pregnant. My wife travel and she pregnant because they have baby. Get a date. I gotta go find the baby. This why. Get Deuteronomy sixteen and sixteen. I knew she was pregnant. This is why. I want you to listen. You got a lot of questions. You said, why would he take his wife and he moved? Yeah. This is why. Deuteronomy 16 and 16. You're going to listen to the Bible, Mr. Smiley? Deuteronomy 16 and 16. Read this. You asked, why did he take the child and the woman she was pregnant? Why did they move? Read this. Deuteronomy 16 16. Deuteronomy 16, verse 16. Read. Three times in a year. Three times a year. Read. Shall all thy males appear before the Lord thy God. It say three times a year we had to appear before the Lord thy God, read. In the place which he shall choose in the feast of unleavened bread. In the feast of unleavened bread. You understand that? Go to Matthew 2 and 8. The reason that he had to move it because it's a, like for instance, today is the Lord's Sabbath day, right? The Lord commanded us that we got to congregate and come together. I drive an hour to go to Mobile to make sure that I keep that law. Right. So the reason why he got up and he moved it is because it was a law. When the fear of God on you, guess what? That pregnant woman, she going to be on the road, but you headed to go do what the Lord said. Right. But watch this though, Matthew 2 and 8, read. Matthew 2 verse 8. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again that I might come and worship him also. So they said, Go down to Bethlehem to see where the young man was at. So now, I'm, but listen, though, no. <laughs> we're gonna read why he wasn't there. Read on, read verse 13. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph. So, an angel appears to Joseph, read. In a dream, sing, and rise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. He told them to take the young child, and they needed to go into Egypt. Why, though? We're going to read why he had to leave. Read. And be there, and be thou there, until I bring thee word for Herod. For who? For Herod. Herod would be a so-called Caucasian. Yes, right. So it say Herod, read. Will seek the young child to destroy him. That's why they wasn't there. He had to That's get up because right. Herod sent out to kill him. Yeah. You understand that? No. But I want to backtrack. Go to uh, Al. What's up, man? You been all right? You got one of them flies? Man, get one of the flies. Make sure you read it, bro. Make sure you check it out. Go to Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 13. Make sure you check it out, though, bro. Yes, sir. Watch this. Because uh, you got a lot of questions, but the Lord go. But listen, though. The more I make it very plain on us. Watch this. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. Watch this, Mr. Smiley. Verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us do what? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us do what? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. That's the first thing we got to be able to do. It say, let us listen. Read. Fear God and keep his commandments. What is this? For this is the whole duty of man. The other That's stuff and the different right. questions you have, we'll get to them. But the point of the matter in the foundation of what we're here for is you have to learn the commandments that you're not keeping. Oh, I knew them you, you, you know them? Give, me one, right, give me one of them. I don't want to stop because I can do much. Yeah, give me one of them. Give me numbers 15 and 38. Believe me, I you said, you, grew up in there, baby. You, said you was uh that. you said you was a Native American, right? I'm okay, all praises. Now, the reason why I'm asking you that because we have a zeal. Get Romans 10. Hold it though. We still own it, man. We're from uh, Fort Pitt, Virginia. 
all praises. I'm with you when you're right. And I understand the confusion. I understand why we can be upset and why we got a million and one questions. We, did, did, we wouldn't allow to go to church. That's you're enough. right. We wouldn't allow. To you're go right. To we wouldn't. The outside. So, you're right. So you wouldn't allow to bring your family into this establishment because you're not one of them. Exactly. Consider me as a black person. And consider me as an outsider. So we are taught simply. Right. By now your check your this own, out though. By your own and I'm with you when you're right. I, I, Read this though. One or two started. Start verse two. Romans ten verse two. For I bear their record that they have a zeal of God. I can tell you got a zeal to learn about the Most High God. You've been standing right here the whole time listening. So it say you got a zeal of God. Read, but not according to knowledge. But now it's time to get the knowledge behind it. You know what the knowledge is. What is the knowledge? Get Job 28 and 20. I'm going to show you the knowledge. But listen, with the Bible, the Bible comes with stipulations, right? The Bible tell me, like the officer brought out, the Bible say, don't eat swine. If you eat swine, you're going to die. Now, the wisdom behind that would be what? What would be the knowledge behind it? I'm going to show you. Watch this. Job 28, verse 28. And it's a man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord that is wisdom. Come on. And to depart from evil is understanding. That's what we understand. When you really understand, guess what you do? You start doing what the Bible tells you to do. Like we read about the beard. You got to start applying it, growing your beard out. It's different things that you got to do in order to get to understand it. Go to Psalms 111 and 10. I'm going to be real. This book in anybody else's hand that don't keep the commandments, it's going to sound like a fairy tale. It's going to sound like a fairy tale. They're going to make you think Adam was talking to a snake and some more things. Went to church on a Sunday. Right? My family went to church every day. Okay. Okay. And I'm with you. But watch this though. Read this. You change. Psalms. You get dressed. 111 verse 10. Mr. Smiley, check this out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. A good understanding have all they that do what? That do his commandment. It say you gotta first do his commandments. Now, what I said, it say uh, some days he may hire 33 and seven. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. Cause you said we went to church every day, right? I do. Right? You said I you went to church every day. I, I don't listen. Know about else, now that's that's perfectly fine, Mr. Smiley. <laughs> but listen, the Lord, that's why I want you to listen to me, man. Oh, yeah. I want you to listen to me. Cause you, I'm gonna be real. You got a block. You got a block right there. That, you hear? That happened here. That happened all here. And you right. That happened all here. Because I sure hey, wouldn't like this. You would all right Give me Acts 738. <laughs> let's deal with the church because the church is just a building. God That's said right. he dwelling That's not right. in That's temple. Listen. The church is just a building. Yeah, right. Man, right. But you keep saying the church. But we're showing you that the church wasn't teaching right. right. According to the Bible. Listen, listen, listen. Let's smile. Let's smile. Let's smile. Let's smile. Let's smile. Let's smile. The church wasn't teaching right. The people in the church ain't teaching right. Watch this. I want to deal with the church first, right? I want you to see what God said who the church is first. Watch this read. The book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 38. No. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. Now, who was in the church in the wilderness? You make it up. First Corinthians 10 and 1. Who was in the church in the wilderness? With Moses. Huh? Who's your speaker speaking of? Which is who? I don't know who he's speaking of. Okay, let's that, 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 that's, that's make this point. It said, watch this, 1 Corinthians 10 and 1, watch this, read. 1 Corinthians 10, verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers, our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized into Moses. So who all passed through the sea? When God delivered the children of Israel, oh, my bad, I gave it away. My bad, my bad, I gave it away. Watch this, read it again. And we're all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. And did all eat the same spiritual meat. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drink of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Christ. So what I'm saying is in the wilderness, who was delivered out of, who did Moses get a law of the statutes commandments to when they came out of the wilderness? Oh, that was his brother-in-law. Uh, the who? Give me Deuteronomy 40, 44 and 4. I mean 4 and 44. I want to make I just, I just want to show I want to show you who the church is. What I'm showing you is the church in the Bible was Israelites. The church today don't even teach you that you are an Israelite. 
You understand what I'm saying? So they off, they, they, they off automatically because they don't even teach that we God told the people. So that was my point. Oh, you was aware of that? I just, oh, okay, I just wanted to make it clear. Well, let's pick it on the when I came here, we are, I lived in a different world. I lived under this world. You know what I'm saying? I lived in Christianity. Christianity, Nobody, right. no one was allowed to break any more law in this. But I did. I said, but I changed my came into the city. It's and Christian. the city adapted me a different way. Right. It's Christian. Other than that, it's that, That's what we're trying to show you right, 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 right here. Mr. Smiley, that's what we're trying to show you. Christianity is what the white man gave us in slavery. This being the children of Israel is what God gave us by nationality, by birth. That's who the Bible is for. Watch this right The book of Deuteronomy 4, verse 44. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. You hear that? Yeah. The laws were set before the children of Israel. So that's what we're trying to show you, the difference between what we was taught you know what I'm saying? Yeah, in yeah. chains, yeah, rather than what the Bible is saying when we read it. You understand? Know so that's how we're saying we're making a difference. And he read it earlier when Second Corinthians Saint eleven and four. Huh? Say it again. Sanctified. Sanctified Christian. What that mean? What, what do you mean? What are you saying? It's a different, different kind of church. So, so sanctified Christianity. Do they tell you that they got to keep the commandments? No, 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 no. They don't tell you that? Ain't nothing like that. Ain't nothing like that. It's a Give me Isaiah 8 and 16. It's a bunch of yelling and shouting. So it's yelling and shouting, no commandments going on. Not teaching you to keep no commandments, not teaching you to turn this like that the kingdom of heaven gonna be for the children of Israel. That's a different part of the teaching because like I say, it was a seven day journey. You never stop going to church. Each day was a different church. Now watch this read. Isaiah 8 verse 16. Bind up the testimony. Seal the law among my disciples. So it says seal the what? Seal the law among my disciples. Chapter 20. Verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. To the laws of God and to the what? Testimony. If. Meaning Christ. So to the laws and Christ. If they speak not according to this word. If these people don't speak according to what the Bible just said about the laws in Christ. It is because there is no light in them. They ain't got no light or they ain't got no truth in them, Mr. Smiley. You That's caught that one in it. That one hit. I think they went through, went through your shell right there. <laughs> oh, no. It just tickled me. Yeah, that went through your shell right there, Mr. I'm going to come on. <laughs> Isaiah 8, verse 20. <laughs> to the law and to the testimony. Uh -huh. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. No. The light is what? Go to Proverbs 6, 23. Because what he what he going over is heavy. In the churches today, we have no solutions. We see black on black crime. We see drugs sale. We see all these different things in our community, say, but no I solutions. Even since I moved here in 1960. Uh-huh. Yeah, he been over there already. Right. But look though, I've been here my whole life. Watch this, read this. Proverbs 6, verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp. And the law is light. So the law is light. Yeah. That's what the Bible said they lack if they're not speaking the Bible. We're not supposed to be going to church to get a feel-good sermon. We're supposed to be going to church to get edification on what we're doing wrong yes, in the sir. sight of God. I see them going to do something else. I was like, hmm, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. We got that going on in our church. Why you, going down you understand what I'm saying? You know, Read that again. There, the For the commandment is a lamp. Uh -huh. And the law is light. And reproof of instruction are the way of life. Matthew 26. So that's what we're trying to show our people. You understand that you got to start growing your beard though, right, Mr. Smiley? I can't. You can't? No. Okay, the lipid that you do have, you know you got to let it grow, right? Yeah. You see my brother right here? Yeah. Brother. This brother right here as well. The lipid they got, they keep. What I'm saying now, I can't get my beard. I can't. All praise God. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.
His blood! His blood! His blood!